I have five lessons that I have learned from being a person who stutters dating that is relevant for anybody who wants to date, but specifically people who feel insecure or not enough or like they have to do something or play games in order to get a girl to like them. I have some truth bombs for you, five actually, and let's get into them. I first want to preface with from the age like 16 to 20, I went down a fucking deep rabbit hole of game. RSD, pick up the book, the game. Um, I read all kinds of books about game. Um, the game, the alabaster girl models and uh, I've learned a lot, but I've had to unlearn more. There is so much unlearning I had to do with the game that I learned that was poisonous, that made me feel like I can't truly keep a girl. I could get a girl, but I would play so many games that I would burn myself out and end up having to leave the relationship because I was playing too many games and it was driving me fucking insane. And the girl saw this wasn't the real me. And now I'm in a spot where I don't play any games. And I can truly say I have the most abundant dating life that I have ever had. Um, I don't wanna say any numbers or anything like that, but it's one that is too much. The first golden rule I wanna share with you that I had to learn that um, I didn't learn from these books, I had to unlearn is never try to make someone like you. This is the golden rule. Never try to make someone like you. It's completely futile. For one, if you're trying to make someone like you, this means you're going to be doing things and saying things and acting in ways that are most likely incongruent with you. You are doing things that you feel are extra, like playing games, like responding to text, um, like taking a long time to respond to text, seeing how much she texted and you can only text that much. If she took 12 minutes, you take 12 minutes. If she took two hours, you took two hours. Or playing games like when you first meet, this is something I used to do. When you first meet her and you text, you just vanish. You just, va you just vanish for like a day or two in the middle of a conversation. And then it's like, oh, it's playing games. She's gonna think about me. The more she thinks about me, the more she's gonna think she's obsessed with me. I was playing so many games because I was trying to make her like me. This is coming from the, the viewpoint that I was not enough. Just who I am authentically was not enough. And yes, I was getting girls but it was not enjoyable. It was always stressful. And this led to a lot of other issues in my life. And you, you'll, you'll forget who you are. You will lose a sense of connection with yourself when you're completely forging personalities and values based upon what you think the girl wants. If you wanna make sure you can never hold a girl and date a girl and most likely never see a girl is try to make them like you. It's futile, it doesn't work and it's fucking painful. The second thing I, I wanna stress, was something I had to learn was yes, girls are attracted to confidence, but confidence doesn't mean this. It doesn't mean you're speaking like this and you're so loud and you're taking up so much space. The most amazing fucking seductive people I've ever met barely speak at all. They speak when they feel completely pulled to, when they have something interesting to say. They're quiet. They have amazing eye contact. They, they can signal and give off so much with their body language. It's not on what they say. It's not how loud you're being. It's the spot it's coming from. It's the ability to lead. It's the ability to state your opinion. It's the ability to, to, when something is misaligned with your values, to be able to state that and say, hey, actually, 
Um, can you not say that again? And being so, so different, being okay with being different, being okay with being this emotional version of you or this vulnerable version of you, being okay to express that to anybody and feeling sure of yourself in expressing all sides of you, no matter like whoever you are, don't try to be the silent, seductive person. Don't do that if that's not you. It's about being exactly who you are and being confident in your own self, even if it's lower energy. It's the sureness of yourself, that congruency with yourself is fucking irresistibly attractive, not loud and expansive energy. It can be, you'll attract a certain subset of girls, but not the girls that are aligned with you if you're faking that. That's the second thing is confidence is not this big thing. It can be quiet. It can be reserved. And sometimes that's the most deadly. And the third thing is that the girls that are supposed to be in your life, the girls that are going to be nourishing to you, that you can build a connection with, that are worth speaking to, will be attracted to your stutter if you stutter openly. This is something I learned quite fast. That girls fucking love my stutter. Girls fucking love it. Because I stutter openly. Because I'm not afraid to show it. Because I don't think I'm a less human being because I stutter. They fucking are absorbed by my stutter. They're encapsulated by it. They love it. And I didn't have that reaction when I was ashamed of my stutter. When I felt like I need to hide every inch of me. When, that, when I felt like I was hiding a version of myself, of course, girls wouldn't like that. Because they, they, they want they want to feel safe with you. And you, if you don't feel safe with yourself, how could you give that privilege, that natural gift to them? You can't. If you own your stutter, they will be attracted to your stutter. Do not hide it. Openly express it. I promise you. The right girls, not every girl, the right girls that are going to connect with you, the ones you want in your life will be attracted to it. The fourth thing, and this is so massive, is when you're going on dates, you're not going on this date to try to win something or to try to get something. The, the, the award isn't her. The sex is, is not what makes you a man or not. It's not. You're going on this date to see if she's in alignment with your values. You're going on this date to see if her humor is matched with your humor. You're going on this date to see if you guys connect. Not to see if you can sleep together. Not to see if, um, yeah, if, if, you, if you can get her. You're seeing, you're coming from a grounded place of, can I connect with this girl? Is this a girl that I want in my life? Is this a girl that is going to be healing and beneficial for my life? That's the mindset you go in. And when you go in with that mindset, you're going with a lot less attachment, a lot less neediness. I need you. You don't need that. She's not the prize. She's not the prize. If she's amazing and she's connecting with, with you a lot, it's the connection that's the prize. It's not her. It's not you. It's the connection that's the prize. And you're going to see if that connection is there. You're, you're going to see that. Not for her, but to see if you, you guys are better together than separate. That's it. So come in with that. Come in in, in, that, in, that, mind, in that mind frame. She's not the prize. You're seeing if there's a connection. And I know for my life, when I go into dates like that, they always turn out fucking amazing. I'm always able at the end of the date or midday to say like, sorry. Um, it was awesome to get to know you, but like I'm sure you you felt it too. It's just like there was something off about our our personalities that were not clicking that well. But it was still great to meet you. And knowing that I could say that at any time makes the people that I truly connect with feel extra special because they realize I didn't just say yes because they're a hot girl. I said yes because of the connection. And that feels so different to them. And they fucking love that. And the fifth, and maybe 
most important thing is you must have something um, more Im more important than the girl. You must be working on something or building something that is more important than the girl, even when you're dating her. You must have a purpose in life that you're fulfilling. And if you're not, then it's so easy for her to become the primary focus of your life and you're going to be addicted to how many texts she's sending you. You're going to be so worried if she says, I'll text you when I get home and she doesn't text you. Fuck that shit. If you have a more important, more important purpose in life, she's just going to she's just going to be a ben uh, benefit to your life. She's not going to be your life. And from the girl's perspective, she doesn't want to be your life. She doesn't. She wants to join a life. She wants to join a life that is already operating, already has friends, already has a purpose, already has or is already driven. And if your stomach just clenched and say like, I don't have a purpose. I don't have friends, blah, blah, blah. That's all right. There's a process that you go through to get shit out of the way, get the fears and anxieties and doubts out of the way so you can see who you truly are at your authentic core. And that's what I help people with, right? I don't help people with finding a purpose, but I help people become the most authentic selves. The one that doesn't, the one that's completely full, who doesn't need any girl to like them, because they they love themselves. Um, and finding your purpose, finding what drives you, finding what you can build, comes from a place of authenticity. If you're constantly fake, you don't really know what you like. And um, I just want to make that clear. Right now, I'm not working with many people who stutter. I'm still taking on applicants and I'm only going to work with like a few, few, few rare people that I feel really, really connected to as I'm going through a transition with like flights and changing locations in my place right now. And I only want to work with a few people and not have a big list of people. So if you're interested in becoming your most authentic self, whether it be to attract the girls or whether it be um, to get that purpose or whether it be just to stop putting so much value in your stutter and stop caring if you stutter. Start being who you truly are. If you want to be unleashed, then you can look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. Hop on a call and see if we'd be a good fit to work together. Again, very select few people I will actually take on. Um, the last few weeks I've rejected like 90% of people. So if you are serious, and you're on the same wave, wavelength as me, and you want to work on this with me, I'll apply, and we'll see if we're a good fit. All right. I love you. I'll speak to you soon.